is Amy Cassandra Martinez with Hollywood First Look, and we're at the premiere of Air, starring Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, and Viola Davis. Let's take a first look. People don't know what the hell a Nike is. What's a Converse? NBA All-Star shoe. There's nothing cool about Nike. You would have to have a pretty compelling pitch. I can tell them the one thing the other companies can't compete with. Our basketball division is terrible. I do not love it. The guy making the pitch, believe in what the hell he's selling. I believed that's what was going to happen. I believe that Michael Jordan could do what Phil Knight and Rob Strasser asked me to do. Make a company like Nike, who was on the crest of failing or succeeding. I believed he could do it. I didn't know him. There was no financial kickback for me. I didn't have a deal that I got a piece of Michael, whatever he got a piece of. My deal was to give them my answer. I believed I was right. If I was wrong, you may have never heard about me again. I pray to God that wouldn't have been the story, but that he could have fired me. What the hell would he need me for? I'm being honest with you. I believed in Michael Jordan. Okay, so you play a very instrumental role in this film, which uh -huh. is bridging the gap between the Jordan family and everyone working yes. at Nike. I'm coming back. Mm -hmm. What do you, how, how did you navigate that? Um, you know what, Howard White, you know, a friend of mine, and that's who I play in the movie, he was that, that bridge from Nike to Jordan, and the Jordan brand, and uh, the, it was a great role, because you had, I had all that knowledge, because I could call him, and he can, you know, he gave me all this knowledge about the role, about him, so I had a lot of fun doing that. This is where you come up with a brilliant idea that no one else can see, let's hear it. I got it. I found him. Who's that? Jesus? Can't afford it. I'm willing to bet my career on one guy. My name's Sonny Vaccaro. I'm with Nike. Um, I think the hardest challenge was probably just like bumping up against time and also like, you know, staying on budget because it is a period piece and, you know, we didn't have a lot of time. So, um, you know, I had to be very resourceful and like use my vintage contacts to get, you know, a lot of like, you know, dead stock pieces and things like that, you know, Nike pieces. Some, um, this tracksuit that um, Ben has on in the poster is one of those like dead stock Nike pieces that I was able to source and find. In addition to like, you know, fabric swatching and building custom suits, I built a lot of custom suiting for Ben, um, also for Chris Tucker. And, um, you know, some of the, a lot of the Nike pieces featured in the film are custom built by us because there's silhouettes that um, don't exist anymore. So there's like a polo that Matt wears a lot that was that was made by us um, and a couple other things like that that it just are like simple things that they don't really make anymore. I, it was really, really fun. I mean, the, uh, you know, on the one hand playing this real life person who's, who's such a genius and so smart, who also was very down to earth. I, I mean, I never met him, but from what I understand, it just watching him in documentaries, he's just a regular guy who happens to have like a brilliant mind. And, and I really appreciated how he, how, how I felt like he thought, which is that like he wasn't precious about his art. His art was made to sort of solve a problem, you know, like, or like he, he had this artistic mind, but he used it for very, for everyday objects, for ads. And I think like he was able to bridge a sort of like a sense of beauty and what I really like about the character in the movie is that he has a sense of like beauty and the eternal but he is making things everyday things that people are going to wear every day you know and interact with and that aren't going to be in some museum somewhere but that are going to be mass produced you know and he was able to do both things at the same time. What was the biggest piece of advice you've learned from Sonny that you were able to carry into the film and life? He really impressed on me how much this was like a time of, uh, of joy for all of the people there. And that's what we really wanted to get in the movie, like this kind of group of renegades and like they loved each other and they did this incredible thing and that's what the movie celebrates. Thank you so much for watching. Air is now in theaters. My name is Amy Cassandra Martinez and I'll see you guys next time. Tonight, you show up at the house. I believe in your son. I believe he's the future. And his story is going to make us want to fly. But a shoe is just a shoe. Until my son steps into it.